Good morning, folks. Hi, Phil McPhail here, and today I am in the Midco section of Maine in the town of Frankfurt. And what I'm going to show you is 203 acres of middle-aged timberland. This is a beautiful tract of land. Uh, we've got a lot of features we're going to cover here today. It's got frontage on two town roads, this road being Tyler Lane, and then it fronts over on Logan Road as well. We've got some intermittent streams. We've got a beautiful wetland in the center of this property holding lots of wildlife. We got some mature timber, we got some middle-aged and some young growth. So let's go take a look at this today. The property here in Frankfurt actually has about 2,000 feet of frontage on this little stream. This is an intermittent stream. It's probably going to dry up in the, in the dead of summer. But it's kind of a water course that goes down and feeds into that boggy area in the center of the land. A lot of wildlife trails along the edge of it. This is part of the uh, Penobscot River drainage, so it eventually enters into Penobscot Bay just a little bit east of us here today. I'm standing in the middle of Tyler Lane. This is a town road, it's a gravel road. We've got about 2,800 feet along Tyler Lane and we've got electricity along the road here. Uh, the property also fronts over on Logan Road for about 1,100 feet. That's a paved town road and it also has utilities run along the roadside. This area does have some medium speed broadband internet according to um, connectmain.org and you might check that out online and we'll put a link to that in the description below. We're just coming off of Tyler Lane and this is a access road probably used for logging uh, a decade or more ago. Um, there's a couple of these roads that access the lot from Tyler Lane. Beautiful morning here we're seeing robins the first robins of the season this morning and a couple of woodpeckers flying around. Let's go check out some of the timber on this property. The timber on this property is growing very well and it's being managed here by the current owner with a very detailed forest management plan. You can see behind me we got some oak trees growing. This property has a lot of red maple, oak, birch, American beech. Timber crews here or the inventory of the timber done by my client's forester, just over 3,000 cords of merchantable timber. It's a beautiful lot. The Forest management plan will allow for um, monies from a couple different organizations and we'll talk about that in a minute. I'm in here a little ways off of Tyler Lane and I come across this rock wall and I, I was reading the forest management plan and, and looking at some of the older uh, photographs of this area from the air and about 30% of this land at one point in time was agricultural. Probably pasture, um, good chance they were raising sheep down here. Uh, that, that's pretty common in, in the, on the coast of Maine back 100 years ago. So we do have a, a tremendous amount of inventory here for, for wood. It is growing uh, in middle age, a lot of it. There's some older growth in po pockets and scattered throughout all of the, the middle age forest. The uh, enhanced forest management plan that my clients have is very detailed. And if you call me, I can get you a copy of that. Um, it, it does qualify the land to be able to be put into the tree growth tax program. Uh, USDA has money available for enhanced programs uh, or advanced plans of properties like this to help with uh, offsetting costs for timber stand improvement, uh, road construction sometimes along with uh, culverts. And also qualifies to be placed into the um, tree farm program. So it's got a lot going for it folks. It's a great piece of land. Let's keep walking, look at a little more of the timber. Coming over towards the middle of the land here and this is an area that was probably timber harvested 20 to 25 years ago. This is some really old rotted stumps here. Uh, we've got some middle-aged hardwoods. Uh, there's, there's ash and red maple and white birch growing in here along with some beech. We're up on a hillside here, not too far, probably about a thousand feet 
from the big open boggy area in the center of the lot. Um, some nice elevation here. If you did a little bit of thinning, clearing, built your house or cabin in this location, you'd have some nice views looking to the north and east, some of the surrounding hills in the area. We're not far from Mount Waldo, which is just basically across the road from, from us on Tyler Lane. And there are some uh, improved hiking trails there done by some local clubs. Beautiful place to go for a walk, go for a hike. We're, we're not far from the city here, but we're far enough out in the country. It's nice and quiet. You don't hear any, any cars out here on Tyler Lane. Be a great spot to build your getaway cabin or a year round home. Hey folks, if you're a deer hunter, this property here in Frankfurt is, there's a lot of oak in here, more than I, than I realized. We got uh, leftover acorns on the ground, not many. I think the squirrels and deer have picked up most of them. But with this stream running through here, you got a water source, you got some nice mass trees like these oaks, uh, and there's beach in here as well. If you're a deer hunter, uh, this part of the state's got a lot of deer to begin with, but this would be a choice spot to set up your deer stand. Boy, folks, I wished I'd had the camera running and I uh, just about stepped on a woodcock, probably getting in here, getting ready to start nesting for the spring. But we're real, real close to the little brook down here in this low area and he just came right out from under my feet. So let's keep walking. Getting even closer to the, to the wetland here, folks, and this is another small intermittent stream that runs through the property. We got water in it now. I'm sure in the in the spring and fall, it's it's got water running here. Another nice little water feature. We just came down off of, of a slope. This is that, and and then we're going to go back up the hill on the other side. So let's keep walking. The property in Frankfurt has a very nice topography. On Logan Road, the elevation is about 160 feet and it quickly comes up hill from there to about 420 feet of elevation on the eastern side of the lot. The Tyler Lane side of the land has an elevation of about 400 feet above sea level and then it descends towards the wetland in the center of the property to about a 300 feet above sea level elevation. The soils here on the property in Frankfurt are a nice mix of sandy and silty loams. This soil is great for growing trees and some of the areas on the land could be used for agricultural use if you wanted to clear them. We've made our way down to the wetland here folks and, and it's an early spring day. We're March, I think with the 23rd today. And the red-winged blackbirds are here. They're not up in northern Maine yet, but they're down here. I can hear them singing in the distance. This wetland has got some standing water in it. Uh, I'm guessing it's probably 12, 15 acres. I'll map this out and give you the acreage here on the screen, but uh, what a nice little feature. Kind of collects all the water that runs off this property into here and then flows out of it. Um, nice little riparian feature that is enhancing the quality of the Penobscot River drainage. Let's go look at the rest of the land. We'll check out the other road front and uh, look at some of the area around Frankfurt, Maine. Folks, uh, the, the town of Frankfurt is located in Waldo County. We're, we're about 17 miles north of the city of Belfast. Belfast is a beautiful little Waldo County town right on the ocean. North of us, 20 miles, Bangor uh, and Bangor International Airport. So we're, we're like 25 minutes from the city. Boston is 238 miles and it's less than a four hour drive from downtown Boston to this uh, property, assuming you don't get caught in traffic jam on the way north. The town of Frankfurt is the oldest settlement on the Penobscot River in Maine. 
It was in late 1700s, it was incorporated. And around 1860, uh, up until about 1860, this, the town of Winterport was part of Frankfurt before it was incorporated separate from this town. The one of probably the most famous thing from, from Frankfurt is its granite. Uh, it's got a beautiful gray and white granite here. Some of it mined right off the top of Mount Waldo, uh, just half a mile from here. And that granite can be found in the Washington Monument in Washington, D.C., as well as at the Tomb of the Unknown Soldier. Beautiful stuff, a little history on the town of Frankfurt. We're only about two and a half miles from the property, right off of Route 1A here. This is, we're still in Frankfurt. Behind me is the boat landing and the Penobscot River off to my right. You can launch your boat here and go for a cruise right down to Penobscot Bay, stop in the, in the city of Belfast, head on down to Rockland, Rockport, Camden, do some striper fishing out here in the summertime or just take a cruise with the family. This is just two and a half miles from the 203 acres here in Frankfurt. So when you're down here in Frankfurt and you want to go uh, check out some of the coastal areas, the town follows the Penobscot River down to Penobscot Bay to the city of Belfast. Belfast is a, is a small city of a little less than 7,000 people. You got some really nice restaurants there, a lot of shops. Um, the downtown area is beautiful. There's a place that works on yachts down there in the harbor. There's a city park you can go down and, and enjoy the, the view of the ocean and watch the sailboats coming into the harbor. Hey folks, thanks for taking the tour of this property here in Frankfurt with me today. It's truly a beautiful piece of property. It'd be a great place for your new home, your, your hunting lodge, or just your getaway. Let's wrap this up here. We've got a price on this property of $260,000. The taxes are about $1,200 a year. We've got 1,100 feet of frontage on Logan Road with electricity. We've got 2,800 feet or so of frontage over here on Tyler Lane, also with uh, utilities. Great place for deer hunting, upland birds. Uh, you know, in a couple, another week, we might find a little tiny brook trout swimming through this little stream. So if you want to come take a look at it, give me a call at 800-286-6164. And if you need information beyond what we've shown you here, call and we will email you a property information package along with that uh, forest management plan we were talking about. While you're here, don't forget, like, share, subscribe to our channel, and don't forget to hit the notification bell so you don't miss our next video. Have a great day.